Hi guys, it's Kath. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this miniature working light pendant. It has a modern geometric design and makes such a statement in any miniature room. The best part is, it is fully functional as a working light. Let's get started. To build a structure, I'll be using these craft matchsticks. They're not quite long enough, so I glue two together with wood glue. Once that's dry, I cut out a two and three quarters of an inch length. You'll need four of these. From the leftover piece of wood you trimmed off, cut out one inch length. You'll need four of these as well. Take two of the two and three quarters inch lengths and two of the one inch lengths to form a rectangle. We'll be using two of these rectangles. Now cut out four lengths that are three quarters of an inch long and glue them vertically to each of the corners of the rectangle. Add the second rectangle on top of these posts. Set the structure aside and let's work on the electrical. For the light, I'll be using these three tiny dial bulbs. As a reminder, links to all the supplies I use are in the info box below. We'll also need insulator wire in two colors, two 3 volt batteries and a battery case for the power, and heat shrink tubing. Here is everything in one frame. The first thing I do is strip half an inch of insulation off the ends of both wires. Just run a scissor around the plastic and pull it off. Be very careful not to cut the actual wire. Let's attach these to the bulb. Inside the bulb you'll see two metal pieces, one big piece and one small. We'll connect the white wire to the side with the bigger piece and the yellow one to the side with the smaller piece. To hold the twisted wires together, I trim a tiny piece of heat shrink tubing and loop it over the connected areas. I like to push the connection point as close to the bulbs as possible. Here I'm using the candle as my heat source. Hover it over the flame for a quick second to shrink that tube and it'll fit snugly. This is optional, but I took this metal bead and looped it over the wire for an industrial look. Cut off the excess wire, leaving about two and a half inches. Do this for all three bulbs. This is optional, but I decided to snip off most of the long bulb stems. Let's test out the power. After loading the batteries, you just need to connect the white wire to the black and the yellow wire to the red. To attach these lights to the structure we built, I take a quarter inch wide stick and drill three sets of holes. This stick shows where they should be placed. I paint it black and it's ready for the lights. Take a bulb and thread the wires through a set of holes. I use a bit of epoxy to hold them in place. Once all three are in, glue this bar to the center of the top rectangle. Let's make the wires look a bit cleaner. I fold the side wires toward the center and mark where they meet the center bulb wires. Try 
shoot the plastic above that marking. You'll connect all the white wires together and all the yellow wires together. Here are the two bundles. Let's paint the entire fixture before installing it. Cut two pieces of one inch heat shrink tubing and place one at each bundle. Because these bundles are pretty short, grab more white and yellow wire to extend them. And stick the extra wire into the heat shrink tube for a stronger hold. Now just attach them back to the power source and light it up. For a cleaner look, I take a straw, paint it black with nail polish, and cut off an inch. Loop that over the top wires and glue it in place. To install, simply drill a hole into the ceiling of any room. Thread the wires through that hole and glue it in place. As a finishing touch, I like to glue the wires flat down and cover them. For the cover, I just glue three coffee stirrers together into this bracket shape. Paint it to match the color of your room. Then glue it right above the wires. Super simple. That's it, you have a beautiful chandelier for your miniature room. This one's for the coffee shop in my next video, but it'll look gorgeous in a miniature kitchen. In my last premiere, several of you requested that I do a giveaway. I'm deciding between a big paint set or a dollhouse kit. Let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer and I'll announce it in the next video. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more miniature tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye.